그냥 운영을 그냥 PPT 띄우면 되죠. 오케이. Okay. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Kwang Hyun Jo, a Korean board certified dermatologist. Nice to meet you uh, and thank you for joining my presentation. Today, I want to share with you uh, how to manage melasma using PICO lasers. Um, <clears throat> Uh, when I started my first career as a board, I just recommended a patient who came to me for melasma, getting laser treatment to make money. Uh, also, I told them it would be nice to avoid UV or irritating cosmetics. If, you're not, if not, your melasma would get worse. Actually, the truth is that I wasn't confident in the management of melasma, I just prepared an excuse in advance for a treatment failure and hoped that patients wouldn't pay for it. <laughs> but now, uh, I'm so confident in managing melasma with picolager. Uh, let's get started with one question. Why is it so difficult to relieve melasma? Uh, before I didn't have enough cases, some patients asked me why their melasma got worse during treatment. It was very hard to distinguish whether the patients were exposed to aggravating factors or my laser treatment made melasma worse. Uh, you can see the most well-known aggravating factors for melasma. Okay, okay. How many questions are there? I think you guys are getting tired of talking. Every time you open the camera, it's okay. It's okay. Melasma patients often uh, do not fully avoid these aggravating factors. Worsening during treatment is not that uncommon. For example, a golf rounding, UV rays while driving using chemical peeling agents could worsen melasma. Moreover, melasma treatment itself could also make melasma worse. Many patients uh, could come to me who experienced worsening after laser treatment or hydroquinone use. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, I want to focus on laser treatment at this talk. So how does laser treatment make melasma worse? Uh, melanocytes synthesize melanosome and transfer them to keratinocytes. When a laser beam is irradiated to a melasma lesion, the laser energy is absorbed by melanosomes in the keratinocyte. If the pulse duration of the laser is long, the energy of the laser is converted into thermal energy and spreads a lot to the surroundings. Uh, the thermal energy transferred to the keratinocyte could induce a keratinocyte injury and promote melanogenesis. Um, I used it to utilize Revolite SI to treat melasma in the past. It has a pulse duration of five to 20 nanoseconds. And the TRT, thermal relaxation time of melanosomes is known to be 10 to 250 nanoseconds. 
assuming a uh, melanosome with a TRT of 10 nanoseconds, 5 to 20 nanoseconds corresponds to 0.5 to 2 TRT. In this case, a large amount of thermal energy can be transferred to the vicinity of the melanosome. First, therefore, laser energy is absorbed in the melanosome. Thermal energy is transferred to keratinocyte and keratinocyte gets injured due to the thermal energy. Finally, melanogenesis is promoted by the signal that has been started from keratinocyte. Next question is, what are the advantages of pico lasers uh, in the melasma treatment? Uh, I'm treating melasma mainly using piccolo premium, of which the wavelength is 1064 nanometer and the pulse duration is 450 picosecond. Piccolo premium has 532 nanometer wavelength too, but I usually use 532 nanometer to treat lentigo or freckle, not melasma. Mm. And Helios uh, 785 has a wavelength of 785 nanometer and pulse duration of 600 picosecond. Uh, the advantages of the 785 nanometer wavelength are that melanin absorption is better than 106 per nanometer and penetration is deeper than 694 nanometer. Also, it is safe for dark skin as it has a low risk of PIH. Uh, it is effective for treating various pigment lesions, brightening and removing blue or green colored tattoos. Uh, additionally, Helios 785 is combined with 785 nanometer pico and 1064-532 nano. So it can be used in various ways to treat pigment. Mm. Let's assume a melanosome with a TRT of 10 nanoseconds. Uh, 450 picoseconds is equivalent to 0 0.045 TRT, and 600 picoseconds is equivalent to 0 0.06 TRT. It will be a very small amount of thermal energy that spreads to the surrounding tissue, uh, which is so-called thermal lock-in phenomenon. Um, finally, pico lasers can destroy melanosomes in keratinocytes well, but thermal damage would be less. So, uh, melanogenesis is not likely promoted by keratinocytes. Um, and let me tell you one more thing called photomechanical effect. Uh, let's assume that the total amount of absorbed laser energy is 100. <clears throat> this energy will be converted to then a thermal energy or mechanical energy, and some of these are 100. Uh, in nano lasers, more energy is converted to thermal energy. And mm, more energy is converted to mechanical energy in pico lasers. Also, uh, when the pulse duration is short, the mechanical energy is less transmitted to the surroundings. That means more mechanical energy can be absorbed by the chromopore and it helps break particles better. We call it stress lock-in. So like this. Uh, in summary, pico laser 
is less likely to induce thermal injury to keratinocyte, which means low risk of laser treatment induced melasma aggravation. Also, pico laser induces more photomechanical effect, so uh, melanosomes are more effectively destroyed, uh, which means faster effect. Um, next, uh, let me show you my practice. Um, hydroquinone, uh, physical and oral therapy are mentioned in uh, Fitzpatrick dermatology. And my strategy is that I use pico laser therapy with triple combination cream. Product name is melanon cream and tranexamic exit 250 milligram BID. Uh, I mainly use Piccolo premium laser with 1064 nanometer wavelength. Uh, I prefer collimator handpiece, start at 0.2 joule and gradually increase the fluency to 0.6 joule. Uh, I move the handpiece very slowly and linearly, uh, irradiating the entire face and do three passes in a session. Uh, the end point is a uh, slight erythema, not petechia. Uh, when the photoacoustic sound is loud, like then I reduce the fluency. Uh, this case, um, 53 years old female, a laser treatment uh, was performed six times at one week interval. Here uh, is the left side of the same patient. In, in this case, 50 years old female, uh, laser treatment was performed six times at one week interval. And this patient, uh, 37 years old female, and eight times at one week interval. And this patient, 52 years old female, 10 times at one week interval. Um, and I want to show you cases treated with Helios 785. I usually uh, use a collimate or fractional handpiece like this table for 785 toning. Uh, melasma, epidermal pigmentation, Aegis plus, several keratosis, and rejuvenation. Real melanosis, Becker's nevus. Uh, yeah, uh, Helios 785. Uh, I can use this very um, various ways uh, and very safe and very uh, convenient. Okay. Thank you so much for your attention. Uh, I would be <laughs> happy to get your questions or comments. Any questions? 이 정답한 날을 찾지 못했어요. 오케이 okay, 파라 닥터 dari presentasi jika ada pertanyaan bisa di Q&A box atau bisa langsung uh, raise hand ya untuk open kamera ya. Okay, Dr. Jo, thank you for your presentation. Uh, we wait uh, uh, our question in Q&A box. Okay, Dr. Jo, thank you for your presentation. Maybe I want first to question to Dr. Jo. Uh, how to different treatment melasma? Uh, we, uh, we use picolasar uh, 10, 6, 64 or uh, 785. Can you hear Dr. Joe? Uh, uh, you mean? Mm, oh, uh, your question, 
uh, is on the text? Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, why in some cases there is a darkening of the face after the laser? How to handle it? Or other question? Yeah, the question is, uh, can Piccolo use the, to brighten the lips? Ah. Uh, the lips. Uh, of, of course, of course. But uh, I will... <coughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm not ready, but I will share a link to you, and uh, this this link uh, uh, this is my blog blog, and uh, using Piccolo uh, <laughs> certainly uh, brighten the lips. Brighten the lips means uh, lentigo on the lips. You mean or uh, diffuse dark tone, you mean? No, Congress, yeah. So, to me, I'll tell you, no, no. Can you see in QA and Bok, uh, Dr. Joe? The question in QA and Bok, can you see? Can you see? Um, uh, you mean uh, in my cases or or other uh, general phenomenon? Uh, general, general, general phenomenon. Ah. Uh, uh, I can uh, Uh, so, uh, uh, what I said to you in front of the presentation is all about this question. I think there is a, there are many aggravating factors like this. Um, and in my practice, and uh, according to my experience, after using Pico laser, uh, I don't believe that Pico laser induced hyperpigmentation. Uh, uh, Pico second laser induced hyperpigmentation is very less likely. And I think after the Pico laser treatment and uh, these aggravating factors occur, and uh, these induce PIH, I think. And, or uh, using nanosecond laser, uh, laser treatment itself can induce keratinocyte injury and induce PIH, I think. <laughs> Uh, is is this answer enough? Oh, okay. okay, have any question? Do we, do we need anesthesia uh, anesthesia cream before pico procedure? Ah. Um, uh, first, um, at first session, uh, usually without anesthetic cream, I, uh, do pico laser. And if, uh, the patient, uh, feel, uh, pain and, uh, the patient, uh, asked me, uh, as the anesthetic, anesthetic cream and, um, from second sessions, I we I uh, do anesthetic cream before pico laser. 
belum. Oke okay, dokter. Uh, uh, why uh, in some case there is a drug uh, drug knee of the face after the laser? How to handle it? Iya. Uh -uh. <coughs> Jadi uh, so after laser uh, the patient have PIH. How to uh, we can handle who? 이거를 그러니까 어떻게 핸들하냐 이 질문이죠. 진행된 거를 피아이치 생기면 um, uh, first <웃음> I educate patient uh, that avoid or aggravating factors. Um, I think uh, UV exposure is a uh, major case uh, most cases. So I review uh, patient's daily life, and if uh, patient uh, exposed to UV rays uh, during driving, and uh, I recommend them to uh, use uh, UV protecting pro protective. Sorry, I'm very tired. Uh, UV protection. Uh, <laughs> like sun cap. Um, and uh, and uh, nowadays in Korea, there are a melasma patch, uh, which is a, a slight slight patch that um, <laughs> that. Uh, contact the skin and which uh, protect skin from UV. Uh, so <clears throat> after the review, uh, I, uh, I uh, find uh, what is the aggravati aggravating factor for the patient and um, Uh, recommend them to remove the aggravating factor and uh, do pico lasers and um, uh, after care like uh, eonzyme or eontophoresis or uh, uh, LDM like this. Okay. <laughs> okay, Dr. Jo. Uh, some. Okay. Uh, how to treat ochronosis with pico laser? How to treat ochronosis, cask ochronosis with pico laser? Um, if can uh, treat uh, treat to ochronosis case, uh, how much energy do you use, and how many minimum treatment for seeing a good result? Um. Oh, actually, sorry, I. <laughs> okay. Uh, you mean ochronosis? Yes, uh, ochronosis uh, with pico laser. Ochronosis is uh, similar to. Melasma or other category? Uh, ochronosis just dark, is just a dark skin tone. Uh, or melasma or PIH or what uh, is the ochronosis? Ochronosis is a size effect for along get a healthy hydroquinone says effect ah. Ah, ochronosis can we uh, use a treatment for pico laser um ochronosis. Oh, actually i have um uh, i have not enough cases of ochronosis but 
um, some patients came to me uh, have hyperpigmentation after using hydroquinone. Uh, I just treat uh, as uh, I just treat with pick laser with the same method just before I said. And um, I tell them uh, minimum um, eight sessions. Eight sessions. Oh. Uh, yeah. Minimum eight sessions uh, for uh, just um, significant significant effect, not mm -hmm. for good result. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, how much energy do you uh, uh, we are use? How much minimum energy? The power. The power can keep, uh, can we? Ah, uh, how much energy? Yes. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, same <laughs> just before. I start with uh, all point two joule with piccolo premium, and gradually increase the fluency. And I uh, actually prefer all point six joule, but uh, it uh, induce uh, pain and. Uh, their uh, uh, photoacoustic sound is uh, usually occur. So uh, 0.6 joule, and uh, I think that fluency is too high, then I uh, uh, reduce fluency to 0.5 like that. Is this enough? <laughs> Okay, Mr. Joe. <laughs> um, uh, another question. Uh, doc, uh, how to treat nephus ota with pico laser and how many sessions to have good result? Um, Okay, um, I um, usually prescribe triple combination cream and plus hydrocortisone cream. And um, <clears throat> the night uh, of the laser treatment and the, uh, the morning after the laser treatment uh, use hydrocortisone cream uh, all over the face. And mm, uh, usually after the pico laser treatment, uh, erythema is very common. And uh, sometimes there are mm, some pop-ups, very small papule or posture like pop-up. And it, uh, uh, it lasts uh, about two or three days. But uh, I uh, tell the patient, uh, don't, uh, don't touch that lesions. Then spontaneously, they are gone and no PIH. But uh, they can feel itch. So uh, in that case, I prescribe antihistamine uh, or a drug. Okay. Okay, Dr. Jo. Uh, is there any downtime for picolaser in treating melasma? Do you usually prescribe post laser cream? If so, there's steroid in the cream. Uh, yeah, yes. Um, any downtime? I just told you. Uh, erythema is very common, and uh, small, tiny 
popular postures uh, lasting two or three days. Uh, it is not common and itching. Mm, oh yeah, it's it's all. And uh, steroid cream. Um, I prescribe hydrocortisone cream. So the day, uh, the night after the laser treatment and uh, the morning after the day of laser treatment, uh, just apply hydrocortisone cream all over the face. Okay, thank you, Dr. Joe. Is there any question? Okay, wait, uh, wait a minute, Dr. Joe. Dr. Joe, can uh, I want to ask, uh, Dr. Joe, uh, are you thinking uh, the better? Treatment for melasma, we use a uh, seven, eight, five. Seven, eight, five, or? Uh, combination, combination treatment. Yes, yes. Oh, combination. Picolator. Oh, picolator. Yes. Uh, and triple combination cream and tranexamic exit. Okay. Uh, the hand piece in uh, fractional, fractional for uh, pico, pico laser. Uh, we will uh, combination for uh, treatment for uh, for melasma. Ah, you mean um, mm, uh, actually for uh, personally, I don't use fractional handpiece for melasma patient. I prefer collimator handpiece for melasma patient. Uh, if, uh, <laughs> Dr. Joe, uh, you mean is combination yes. collimator and fractional? I don't use fractional handpiece oh. for melasma patient. Oh, do you use a, a collimator? <clears throat> yes, collimator handpiece. Dokter, kalau ada pertanyaan bisa tanya langsung juga ya. Kalau misalnya masih ada pertanyaan. Uh, doctor, uh, yes. in treat uh, in treat melasma, do you use collimator handpiece uh, ten uh, sixty four? Fluence uh, 0 0.2, uh, two, 0 .6. 2, uh, 0 0.6 joule for how many pass? Ah, uh,
uh, can you see this yes. slide? Okay, uh, three passes. Mm. And uh, and radian. On what case do we use the fresher handpiece? Uh, for piccolo premium, I usually use uh, 1064 fraction handpiece for acne scar and mm -hmm. uh, pore, pore reduction or fine wrinkles or just brightening or tone up like this. And not for melasma and uh, 532 fractional handpiece uh, I usually use for uh, brightening and uh, V-line, <laughs> uh, uh, skin laxity, or um, <laughs> skin laxity and uh, uh, skin Ah, sagging. Yeah. And <laughs> and for uh, Helios seven eight five, uh, I use a fractional handpiece more than uh, for piccolo premium. Uh, uh, 785 uh, fraction hand piece uh, can use safely for any pigment reasons except for melasma. For uh, it's my personal uh, personal idea for lentigo freckles or dermal pigment or any other. Uh, pigment lesions. Uh, Dr. Jo, uh, in case uh, lentigo, lentigo case, lentigo case, uh, we use a treatment with uh, 5332 or uh, Seven eighty-five. Lentigo in case lentigo. Yes. Uh, we use a treat five three T two or a seven eighty-five. Ah, uh, you mean which one is best? Yes. Ah, uh, I personally prefer. Five three two, uh, but there are some uh, lentigo with red base. In that case, I use seven eight five. Or, um, uh, people. Uh, we are usually exposed to UV daily, and they can't they can stop exposing to UV. I usually do not prefer five three two. Okay, how many pass and uh, what uh, the energy we can use to LNT go? Ah, let it go. How many pass and uh, how minimum energy we use uh, for 785? Ah, uh, 785. Um, uh, 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 actually, <laughs> I don't rem remember, but I, uh, I, uh, 
그 북을 뭐라고 하죠? 혹시 그 7, 8호 그 책받침 있잖아요. 그 뭐라고 그 레퍼런스 북이라고 하면 될까요? 7번 7번 I don't remember all parameters, but uh, 785 for Lentigo, I uh, use treat uh, guidebook and uh, and four millimeter and 70 to 80 millijoule. But uh, <clears throat> Uh, but, uh, uh, <laughs> person uh, who who exposed to UV frequently, I uh, reduce fluence or uh, look red, I reduce fluence. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, another question for toning melasma. For toning melasma, we can combine zoom handpiece uh, 7, 8, 10, 64 with collimator handpiece. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, Um, patient have a uh, telangiectasis with melasma. Uh, what protocol we treatment? Is same is uh, is same for treatment melasma. In case patient have telangiectasis. Melasma is a pessimal thing. If, if, if the patient has a lung ectasy, can we do uh, treatment with asthma with the same with the same uh, other other patient? Uh, 이게 아까 렌티고 지금 근데 제가 지금 질문을 이해를 전혀 못했는데. Doctor, you can. Uh, uh, can, you, can you repeat your question one more? Uh, 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 telangiectasis. Do you know, Doctor Joe? Telangiectasis. No. Uh, vascular disorder. Telangiectasis. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, patient have telangiectasis mm, and, with and, and melasma. What protocol we mm. can treat? Or some uh, we treat uh, for test melasma? Uh, you mean melasma with telangiectasis? Yes. Yeah. And how can I treat? Yes. Yes. Uh, actually, this case is very complicated. Uh, for treating telangiectasis, uh, I use V-beam perfecta laser. Do you know? Mm. V-beam perfecta. And, but uh, I do one session with V-beam perfecta. Uh, then telangiectasis can get better, but melasma can get worse. Mm -hmm. Then uh, do a piccolo premium toning. And um, for long term view, uh, I think using Vibin Perfecta for melasma with telangiectasis is very good. But for short short term view, using V beam or 
treating telangiectasis is very risky for melasma. So, uh, um, in first, uh, in first, uh, in first, uh, in first consulting, I asked the patient, um, how long can you treat or how much uh, can you pay for it or uh, what is your purpose uh, to treat telangiectasis or just brown pigment. So uh, after the con consulting and I uh, make strategy. Is this enough? Dr. Reni, uh, jika pertanyaannya masih belum jelas bisa di ini lagi ya di chat. Iya, kita semuanya di Dr. Joe, yes. Uh, we will wait uh, five more minutes if there are any more uh, any question. Que any question. Please wait for, for five minutes, Dr. Dr. Yo. Dr. Yo. Ah. Ah, uh, ah, please okay. wait for 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 a minute. Uh, we 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 wait for for other uh, other attendant uh, patient uh, question. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. Tadi ini kan tujuh delapan lima tadi lebih jauh ya. Oh, tadi lanjut gue. Oh. Uh, dokter, dokter Jo, uh, which is is better treatment for melasma? Which is better treatment for melasma? It is picolaser seven eighty five or picolaser ten sixty four. Uh, in my opinion, 1064 nanometer is best wavelength for melasma. Can you re uh, repeat, doctor? What? Uh, in my opinion, uh, Piccolo Premium and 1064 nanometer is the best wavelength for melasma treatment.
Dr. Joe, huh? after uh, after we uh, treat patient with picolaser, uh, some cases there is a uh, black in the skin. Do we need any cream or something after treatment? Ah, uh, uh, okay. Um, Uh, I do not use any uh, other cream uh, except then triple combination cream here and hydrocortisone cream. Um, so the patient, uh, uh, the patient, patient pigment get more darker oh. after laser treatment, yeah. uh, I review um, sun exposure or uh, cosmetic use, use and just to do same pra practice. And uh, remove or uh, aggravating factors. I just try to remove all aggravating factors and just to do the same treatment. Is that enough? Okay, okay. thank you. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, post treatment laser uh, have a uh, skin uh, more darkness. Uh, the cream, can you uh, example uh, uh, haki or or what can we use after post treatment laser? Oh, sorry. Uh, one more. Please repeat your question. Post treatment for uh, laser for post treatment. Post treatment for laser. Uh, we can uh, use cream, right? Yes. To what, what cream? Uh, what uh, cream we can use? Uh, we can use after treatment. After treatment for we wait uh three day or or at the same day. For uh, uh same day we can use the cream because we treat uh because we treat uh laser we can uh the skin have irritative. Yes. Dr. Joe? Oh, yes. Uh, I don't understand your question. Uh, the post treatment for laser, we can uh, use a cream to prevent uh, the skin darkness. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, are are we use the cream uh, for the same day or we wait three or how day we use the cream? How day? How day? Uh, how day? How day? Uh, you mean uh, 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 uh doing the treatment yes. we use we use the cream at the same day or we we have to wait for three days mm. uh, you mean uh cream uh can use the same day just to, after laser treatment yes 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 uh yes uh usually uh, I don't recommend use melano cream just the same day, but use hydrocortisone only cream just the day, the night. Yeah. And uh, the morning after the laser treatment, it's okay. use just only hydrocortisone cream. 
and the night after the day of laser treatment, then start use melanin cream and uh, use melanin cream daily and uh, uh, next laser treatment day, do not use melanin cream the night. And the day after the laser treatment, use melanin cream. Is this enough? Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I have to move. I got up. You're so just. And uh, uh, additionally, uh, um, uh, all laser sessions are done. And after the all laser treatment, and I recommend them uh, use melanin cream once uh, in uh, every other day, not daily. <laughs> uh, after the all se sessions of laser treatment, I recommend my patients uh, use triple combination cream every other day, not every day. Uh, for, for how long uh, we use the cream after, after uh, for the melanin cream? We need to use it for one week, two weeks, or? Uh, uh, I, uh, I actually, uh, uh, According to this paper, um, uh, steroid cream uh, long-term use side effect, uh, atrophy is usually less than 1% and telangiectasia about 4%. So uh, uh, I recommend my patients use daily during laser treatment and after the laser treatment, uh, use every other day, uh, about six months. And uh, because uh, of, uh, 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 for preventing for this side effect. Okay. okay, doctor, thank you for your answer. Okay, doctor. doctor. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Kalau nggak ada pertanyaan lagi, uh, kita akan sudah ini, uh, selesai untuk webinar hari ini. Kalau nanti ada pertanyaan, bisa chat di ini ya. Plus up di grup ya. Kalau misalnya nanti ada pertanyaan, nanti mungkin bisa kita bantu jawab. Oke, okay, Dokter Joe, Helena, thank you for your good presentation for today. Oke, okay, thank you for joining my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Joe. <laughs>